Hi guys, welcome back to another weekly makeup basket video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking you through all of the goo I intend on putting on my face throughout the next week. So let's get started, shall we? First of all, the Max Factor Face Finity All Day Flawless 3-in-1 Foundation. This is in the shade Light Ivory number 40 and I really love this foundation. I think this is on par with my all-time favourite foundation which is the Revlon Colour Stay Foundation for Oily and Combination Skin. This is really nice, it has excellent coverage, it lasts all day. But there's just something about the finish on this one that I really like. It has kind of a more of a, I don't know, just more of a natural, less kind of caked on appearance and it just looks really flawless like the name would suggest. So I'm going to be using this foundation again this week and I am going to be enjoying it as well because it's really nice. And I think pretty much everything I'm going to be talking about in this week's makeup basket is on my face, which is, you know, kind of what I'm trying to do more often. No point about talking about stuff I'm going to be putting on my face if it's not actually on my face. So. Anyway, we have a primer here, and this is the Unique um, Glorious Natural Face and Eye Mineral Makeup Primer, and this can be used as a face primer, however I do enjoy using this as an under eye primer, so I kind of apply this before I apply my concealer, as I feel like it just gives a more flawless finish and kind of um, stops it getting too cakey and stops it settling into any lines. Um, it's really good as a actual eyeshadow primer too and that's another way that I am going to be enjoying using this one during this next week. Um, what next? Concealer I think. Um, I have no surprises here, I have the Maybelline Pure Cover Mineral Concealer in the shade number 2 Natural. I like to use this under my eyes and I also have the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade Fair. And this is what I like to use as my blemish concealer because it's kind of quite old now. There isn't a lot left in there. The consistency is definitely dried up compared to what it used to be. So it actually works really, really well as a kind of blemish concealer. For powder, again, no surprise, I will be using the 17 Miracle Matte Press Powder in the shade Ivory Porcelain. I really adore this powder and get through it extremely quickly. As you can see, already some major pan on this powder and I could not have opened this more than two weeks ago, to be honest. So I get through this stuff rather too quickly. But anyway, it's a nice one. I'm also going to be using the e.l.f. Clarifying Press Powder in the shade Ivory. And I like to use this as kind of like a blending powder. So when I've applied my kind of contour and my blush, I like to go in with a big fluffy brush. Just take some powder and just kind of blend it all out just to make it look a little bit more natural. I don't mind having kind of like a heavy contour and a heavy blush. In fact, that's a look I quite enjoy. But I do like to blend it out so it doesn't look too obviously piled on. Um, speaking of contouring and blusher, I have the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder Duo here and this is in the shade Turks and Caicos. As you know, I showed my um, St. Lucia duo a lot of love um, for most of last year, to be honest. So I actually pulled this duo out and thought it was kind of time this one got some love. And the bronzer in this one is really, I'm not sure if it's necessarily that much darker or if it's just more pigmented. That could be just a difference in the formula. It could just be an accident because I know that e.l.f. products are notoriously inconsistent. So perhaps my St. Lucia duo is just not as pigmented as this Turks and Caicos one. But anyway, either way, a very light hand is really all that's needed with this bronzer because it is very dark and very pigmented and it's easy to go overboard. I'm really enjoying the blush as well. It's kind of different to the blush that I would normally go for, typically something pink or coral, but this is just a really subtle, peachy, quite neutral blush really, and I am enjoying that one a lot. So I'm gonna keep on using that throughout the rest of this week. 
highlighter is no surprise the elf baked blush in pink tastic i just love this stuff i also have a tendency to use this as my brow bone highlight and sometimes my inner corner highlight too and occasionally i even like to just run a little bit of this across my cupid's bow just to kind of add a little bit of dimension but i really enjoy using this and as you can see there's quite a dent in there because it used to be a big dome and it is no longer a big dome. But anyway, I have a feeling that one's gonna keep on going for some time. So on to eyes. Of course, I have the Billion Dollar Brows, a hint of tint, tinted brow gel in the shade Blonde. I really love this stuff. It's really good and I just enjoy it a lot. Um, for eyelashes, I will be using Benefit's Bad Girl Lash Mascara. And also, when I feel like something a little bit more dramatic, I will go for the Unique Fibre Lashes. Really enjoying this stuff too. It's what I've got on my eyelashes today. And it really does work wonders at kind of just... It just makes your eyelashes kind of appear as if by magic. It's like all of a sudden you have eyelashes. Uh, it's incredible. It makes them look so long so thick, so full. It's kind of almost like false eyelashes, but they look a lot more natural. So I'm really enjoying using that stuff. Really good. Anyway, oh, I forgot to mention, I probably should have mentioned this earlier. This is the Elf High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. It's in this kind of white sheer shade. And this is just really nice over the top of concealer because it's a very finely milled powder and it also kind of has um, some light reflecting qualities that just brightens up the eye area overall. Of course, you wanna be careful with anything like this because it can flash back and kind of make you look all patchy and weird on camera. But I like it for just kind of everyday wear. It's quite nice on, um, on film it looks nice, but in photographs, especially ones taken with the flash, it can kind of look awful, so do be aware of that. Um, for eyeshadow, I've put out a, a much underloved eyeshadow palette, and this is from Tarte, and this is a Tarte Call of the Wild eyeshadow palette, and I'm kind of in two minds as to whether I should try and pan this in a pan that palette project this year. Wasn't really planning on doing one, but I'm kind of tempted to do one now. But then again, I don't really want to limit myself to just using a certain few eyeshadows, but this is a really gorgeous palette. Today I used this colour here on my lid and this colour here as a contour, but it's a really nice palette, really enjoying using this. And there's some lovely colour combinations in there so I'm looking forward to coming up with some new looks using that palette. Oh I think I also used a little bit of this one as well just in on my uh, brow bone. Uh, what next? Lip balm because you know you've got to have lip balm haven't you? Uh, we've got a balmy lip balm and this is exciting this is the first ever balmy lip balm I have tried and it's just so nice and it's black currant flavour and oh my word, this smells so much like black currant. It's, it's insane. It has such a strong smell, but it's really nice. So really enjoying that one. And the balmies have some quite good ingredients in. I think they've got like vitamin E and some kind of shea butter or something. And they've also got SPF 15. But how cute is it? It's just like the cutest little thing and you can kind of clip it on to something. And then you'll never ever use your lip balm again. So... Very excited to have that one in my makeup basket this week. And of course, I'm still going to be trying to get through my Strawberry DIY Lip Balm. And for lips, I'm going to use the Rimmel Apocalypse in the shade Nova, I believe. I'm not 100% sure about that because this one doesn't have a shade name on it. But I believe this is Nova. And of course, that's what I've got on my lips right now. I might just show you few of the brushes I'm going to be using this week. Um, I put out my e.l.f. blending eye brush, just the basic one, and I've been using that as well. And also I put out my Nanshi eye crease brush, and I've been using this to kind of just blend out my eyeshadow. And for the actual kind of main eyeshadow, kind of lid colour, I've just been using just this brush here. This is a Beauty Boxes brush and it's just a nice big fluffy one. Perfect for just packing on eyeshadow. So yes, that is it. Um, 
also got to mention the e.l.f. stipple brush. I love this. This is what I've been using to apply the bronzer with because it's definitely not as um, dense. So it definitely gives a lighter application than lots of other bronzer brushes that I have. And like I said, because this is so dark and pigmented, a light hand and a stipple brush is ideal for applying that bronzer. So that really is it now. I'm going to stop waffling on and let you get on with whatever you're doing and I'll see you again in another video soon. Thanks for watching and bye for now.